hey guys welcome back to my channel if you want to see how i got these amazing curls then definitely keep on watching so before we get started i had a mini accident with my t-shirt and i had to go and change <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, I'm starting my style out on dry, crusty, old, tangled, matted, dilapidated, shabby, old hair. <laughs> I've been wearing my hair in a twist out and it's just been getting worse and worse by the day. I haven't been retwisting re or anything and this is what happens. And yes, I found something in my hair. I don't know what that is. Goodbye. Anyways, so I wanted to re-moisturize my hair as well as set a new style because apparently fluffing it out and shaping it a little bit, like as you can see as I'm doing, is not working. My hair is clearly on its last days. There is no salvage for it. No? <laughs> Even I had to like concede that my hair had gone too far. So let's get into doing it oh and yes i'm due for a trim so all you're gonna need for the style are your fingers or a styling tool some shea butter and water which i'll show you later so the first thing i do when styling my hair is always section it off into smaller manageable sections um just so that it makes it easier to style your hair as well as it kind of gives you control as to the shape you're gonna get um, a nice huge section in the middle on the top of your head helps for volume and all I'm doing is just rolling them into some loose bantu knots to keep them stretched and out of the way as you can see I've got one in the front on top of my head on the side and at the back cool so i always start in the back no reason but that's how i do it so all i'm going to be doing really is maintaining these small individual sections in the head that's already there that's going to help when taking out the style at the end but i'm separating the ends for now and pulling out any shade hair that comes loose while i work with the section So like I said, you're going to need some water or any moisturizer of your choice. You can use a leave-in conditioner, whatever you feel like using. And you just apply a little bit to your hair um, to make the section moisturized. But you don't want to make it too wet because you want the hair to dry quickly, uh, like overnight, for example. And then you just continue removing shed hair from, your, from the section. You don't want to detangle too much because you want to maintain those sections. Then I apply a generous amount of shea butter to the entire section, especially those ends. I then split the section in half and then I decided proceeded to roll the bento knot and I'm just doing a simple old school style bento knot by making just one large twist and kissing the hair on itself and one tip in doing a bento knot is to make sure you keep pulling on the ends to ensure that the hair doesn't bunch up on itself it doesn't become tangled and it remains stretched and when you get to the end of that section you just give the ends a twirl and roll the bento knot and then tuck the ends underneath to secure <laughs> And then repeat the process. Stretch the hair, twist tightly, wipe your forehead, pull down the section to stretch the hair and to prevent further tangle. Give the ends of the hair a twirl and roll the bent knot on itself. And you just secure it by tucking the ends underneath it. It's that simple. And now repeat the process. Water, remove some shed hair, don't finger detangle too much. Apply your moisturizer from end to root and get those edges. Then take the section, twist it tightly on itself, forming one large spiral twist, ensuring to pull the head down as you continue down the section. Give the ends of the 
get the ends of the section a twirl and suck it in. Then you proceed all over your hair, it's that simple. Just one styling tip for those of you who don't know why your styles don't always come out right. I find that when I don't use enough moisture on my hair when styling my hair, it just doesn't come out defined, it comes out kind of looking like an accident. I always make sure to moisturize my hair, even just a little bit, just to ensure that the style will sit in its new, in its new pattern. Finally done! And I have two bantu knots going down the side of my head, five in total on each side, medium sized sections. And if I were going to bed, I would place a satin scarf, do a little dance. <laughs> then head to bed. See you tomorrow! Hey guys, next day and time to take down those bantu knots. Are you listening? Damn. When I started to take the knots down, I was pleasantly surprised at how defined the section was and even more surprised at how shiny my hair was. Yeah. I'm sure you remember what it looked like yesterday and how it looks today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. So all I do is I untwist the bento like a bottle cap and then pull it down. And guys, I'm not kidding. Look at the shine on my hair. I think that comes mostly from twisting the hair tightly and making sure the hair is taut. Then I proceed to fluff up my hair and give it the shape I want. I do it gently and I just separate all those little sections that I had from before and fluff up my hips the desired bigness, if that's the word. Now, my hair isn't the shape I want it to be because it's just growing out in a random shape. So I have to manipulate it a lot to kind of get the desired shape. So here's one trick that I always use. I take a tight fitting hat, flatten my hair at the top of my head, then place the hat on my head. <laughs> and that just helps to push my hair down. I wear the hat for about half an hour to an hour. When I take it off, it helps to push my hair down and just to help with the shape. And that's it. Beautiful, bouncy curls, shiny hair, moisturized hair. I'm really happy with the result. Thanks for watching. Rate. Comment, subscribe, I'll see you in the next one.